So one of the things I've learned about myself uh, as I become an MTI is um, not being afraid to get out of that comfort zone. Um, I didn't come here uh, as, so much as a volunteer. I went through the whole DSD process, however, some things I learned about myself is uh, just not, not being afraid to get out of your comfort zone. So I've been told if you're comfortable at work, you're not um, growing as an individual. So I came here to basic the BMT and uh, I've had to grow. I have to do things I'm not used to doing. I'll get out there. It's something that like, if you're bad at something, like I tell my trainees, if you're bad at something, the best way to get better at it is to practice, practice, practice. Uh, so what I like most about being an MTI is uh, what I get back from the fights. Um, I start with a brand new group of people and um, it takes me like two weeks to remember all their names, but as I start to go on and the weeks go on, I start to like learn personalities. I start to learn, um, you know, just how they operate as a flight. Uh, holding them accountable, but at the same time, I'm seeing this group of individuals grow, and what I get back for them, um, that's the best part of, I feel, as being an instructor, seeing them grow, seeing what my replacements are gonna be. You're, you get a lot from the flights. I didn't think I was gonna get so much from the flights. I didn't think I was gonna get so much to see um, these uh, group of individuals grow, but uh, now that I'm here, um, I don't regret it. I've definitely grown as an NCO, as a, you know, as a person. If you're on the fence uh, about coming here as an MTI, um, if I can do it, you can do it. I've grown as a person, like I said, I've grown as an NCO. Uh, you get so much back rather than, than you give. You get so much back and I, like, it's an awesome opportunity. They're keeping me young and that's something, um, that it, it's fun to come to work.